हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ चमेली देवी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी इंदौर सो टुडे आई एम हियर विथ अ टॉपिक इमल्शन इमल्शन कम्स अंडर द बायोफिजिक लिक्विड डोजेस फॉर्म सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ इमल्शन लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ द फॉर्मुलेशन कंसिडरेशन ऑफ emulsion so emulsion contain emulsifying agent antioxidant buffering agent preservative solvent co-solvent flavoring agent and vehicle so let's discuss one by one so as we discussed in earlier ppt the emulsion is a biphasic liquid preparation containing two immiscible liquids one is oil and another is water so normally two immiscible liquid cannot be dispersed for a long period so an emulsifying agent is added to the system of formulation so emulsifying agent is a main ingredient in formulation of emulsion so an emulsifier or emulsifying agent is a substance that stabilizes an emulsion by increasing its kinetic stability one class of emulsifier is known as surface active agent or surfactant emulsifier form a film around the globules in order to scatter them indefinitely in the continuous phase so that a stable emulsion is formed so basically emulsifying agent used to reduce the surface tension of a globules examples of a emulsifier are agar gum and lecithin so in emulsion formulation emulsifier or emulsifying agents used to reduce the interfacial tension between the two phases oil phase and aqueous phase and thus make them miscible with each other and form a stable emulsion there are large number of emulsifying agents are available to prepare a stable emulsion but it is very difficult to select a proper emulsifying agent for the development of stable emulsion so emulsifier or emulsifying agent should be possess the following ideal property so these property are first is no interaction with so emulsifying agent should be compatible with ingredients or drug or api of the preparation it should be physically and chemically stable emulsifying agent should be non toxic and non irritant emulsifying agent should be cost effective emulsifying agent should be pharmacologically and physiologically inert and the last one is it should not interfere or alter the viability of drug so these are the ideal property of emulsifying agents now the classification of emulsifying agents or emulsifier so there are number n number of emulsifying agents which are available to prepare a emulsion so on the basis of origin or source emulsifiers are classified into five classes first class is synthetic emulsifier second class is semi synthetic emulsifier the third class is natural emulsifier fourth class is emulsifier in inorganic form and the last class emulsifier based on alcohol or alcohol based emulsifier now the first class is synthetic emulsifier so synthetic emulsifier includes anionic cationic nonionic surface active agents so anionic surface active agent or surfactant are usually used for the preparation of external emulsion commonly used anionic emulsifier is sodium lauryl sulfate it produce oil in water emulsion next is cationic type of emulsion so quaternary ammonium compounds such as benzyl coenium chloride citrimide are used as cationic emulsifying agent 
द थर्ड वन इज नॉन आयनिक सर्फेक्टेंट सो द ग्लिसराइल ईस्टर सच एज ग्लिसराइल मोनोस्टेरेट सॉर्विटॉन फैटी एसिड स्टेरेट आर यूज एज नॉन आयनिक सर्फेक्टेंट और नॉन आयनिक इमल्सीफायर सो नॉन आयनिक इमल्सीफायर वाइडली यूज इन द फॉर्मुलेशन और इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल फॉर्मुलेशन द सेकेंड क्लास इज सेमी सिंथेटिक इमल्सीफायर और सेमी सिंथेटिक इमल्सीफाइंग एजेंट सो सो दीज आर मेनली पॉलीसेकेराइड्स फर्स्ट इज मिथाइल सेलुलोज मिथाइल सेलुलोज इज सिंथेटिक डेरीवेटिव ऑफ सेलुलोज सेकेंड इज सोडियम मिथाइल सेलुलोज विच इज़ यूज इन फॉर्म ऑफ सोडियम कार्बोक्सी मिथाइल सेलुलोज एंड द कंसनट्रेशन इज यूज पॉइंट फाइव टू वन परसेंट द थर्ड क्लास ऑफ इमल्सीफाइंग एजेंट दैट इज नेचुरल इमल्सीफाइंग एजेंट सो नेचुरल इमल्सीफाइंग एजेंट आर डिराइव फ्रॉम आइदर वेजिटेबल सोर्स और एनिमल सोर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नेचुरल इमल्सीफाइंग एजेंट फ्रॉम वेजिटेबल सोर्स दीज आर कार्बोहाइड्रेट विच इंक्लूड्स गम सम म्यूसिलेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगार गम अकेशिया नेचुरल इमल्सीफाइंग एजेंट फ्राम एनिमल सोर्सेज दैट इंक्लूड्स एग योक और एग लसीथिन और वूल फैट द नेक्स्ट क्लास इज इनऑर्गेनिक इमल्सीफाइंग एजेंट सो सेवरल इनऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंस सच एज मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड मिल्क ऑफ मैग्नीशिया वेंटोनाइट्स आर यूज एज इमल्सीफाइंग एजेंट इन द फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ इमल्शन इन द लास्ट क्लास इज एल्कोहल बेस्ड इमल्सीफायर और इमल्सीफाइंग एजेंट्स सो एल्कोहल बेस्ड इमल्सीफायर्स आर लेसिथिन एंड कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेसिथिन विच आर फॉर्म्ड मेनली डब्ल्यू ओ टाइप ऑफ इमल्शन कोलेस्ट्रॉल In this category, cetyl alcohol, sterile alcohol, and cholesterol are used generally used in the formulation of emulsion. Now the next additive is antioxidant. So during storage of emulsion, the fats such as vegetable oil or animal oil and some emulsifying agent wool fat are oxidized by atmospheric oxygen so this can be avoided by the using of antioxidant so an antioxidant is a molecule that inhibit the oxidation of other molecules oxidation is a chemical reaction that can produce free radical and leading the chain reaction that may damage the cells so examples are butyrated hydroxy anisole and butyrated hydroxy toluene some other examples also tocopherol gallic acid propyl gallate ascorbic acid are also used as antioxidant now the next additive is a buffering agent so buffering agents are material which when dissolve in solvent will will enable the solution to resist any change in the ph so buffering agents are those to resist any change in ph of solution the choice of suitable buffer depends on the ph and buffer in capacity required so buffering agents are generally beak base or beak acid with it salt the examples of buffering agents are phosphate buffer acetate buffer and carbonate buffer so these buffering agents are used to make a stable emulsion next additive is preservative so this is very important additives in any pharmaceutical formulation so preservative is used to prevent the microbial growth of the formulation so they are substances that are uh, commonly added to various food and pharmaceutical product in order to prolong their shelf life and to prevent the growth of 
micro organism in the formulation so example of preservatives are benzoic acid sodium benzoate and some benzoates next is solvent so solvent is a substance that dissolve a solute and resulting in a solution and co-solvent is a solvent that in conjugation with another solvent can dissolve a solute co-solvent mainly used to enhance the solubility of drug so the example of co-solvents are glycerol propylene glycol and ether now the last additive is flavoring agents or flavors so flavoring agent used to mask unpleasant flavor or unpleasant taste of the formulation and flavoring agent also improve the acceptance of formulation to the patient flavoring agent may be natural or artificial origin a combination of flavoring and sweetening agent gives greater palatability to the emulsion thank you